Many of you have commented that your internet is slower since upgrading to Windows 10. Fortunately, there are simple tweaks that you can perform to speed up your internet. I'll show you step-by-step, -step, starting out with the easier tips and ending with those for advanced users. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Before making any changes, you'll want to check the current status of your internet. There are many websites for testing your internet speed. One of the most popular is Speed Test. I'm using their app from the Microsoft Store, but you can also go to their website, which is speedtest.net, to run a test. The ping measured in milliseconds will let you know how fast you get a response after you've sent out a request. The lower the number, the better. A fast ping means a more responsive connection. It will also test your download speed, which is how fast you can pull data from the server to your computer, and your upload speed is how fast your data is sent from your computer to others. Whether you use speed test or another internet speed testing site or app, it's always a good idea to check it periodically to make sure that you're getting the advertised speeds from your internet service provider. First, we'll modify the DNS servers. DNS stands for Domain Name System. Quite simply, it's a process that translates domain names into IP addresses. Using DNS servers not assigned by your ISP can make your internet faster. To change your DNS server, go to the search box and type Control Panel. Click on it, find Network and Sharing Center and select it. On the left side of this window, click on Change Adapter Settings. Right click on the internet you're using and select Properties. Go down to Internet Protocol Version 4, select it to highlight it, make sure that it's checked, and select Properties. In the bottom half of this new window, click on Use the following DNS server addresses. In this example, we'll use Google's own public DNS. For preferred DNS server, enter 8888, and for alternate DNS server, Enter 8844. When you're done, click on OK. That's all there is to it. If you want to try out other DNS servers, I'll put a link in the description to a site with an updated list of other free DNS providers. Others I'd recommend from this list are OpenDNS and Cloudflare. This next one is overlooked by most people, but can have an impact on your internet speed. Turn off any apps or services that can run in the background even if you're not using them. Left click on the Start menu and select Settings. Click on Privacy. In the left pane, scroll down and find Background Apps and select it. Now just go through the apps listed and turn off the ones that you don't want running in the background, tying up system resources and feeding off your internet. While we're in the settings menu, let's turn off peer-to-peer -peer updates. Click on Home in the upper left. Select Update and Security. Now click on Advanced Options. Then click on Delivery Optimization. Down here where it says Allow Downloads from Other PCs, toggle the switch off. With this turned off, you don't need to worry about others in your household or strangers using your valuable internet resources. When I upgraded to Windows 10 a couple years back, this was turned on by default. Shame on you, Microsoft. Turning off the automatic updates for Windows is not a long-term fix, but can be useful for those times you need your internet speeds to be at their peak. Go to the search bar and type services. Click on it. Scroll all the way down and double click on Windows Update. If the service status says running, click on Stop. Then change the startup type from Automatic to Disabled. Then hit Apply or OK to save your changes. Just remember to turn it back on. You wouldn't want to miss all the great new updates that might delete your files or could possibly give you the blue screen of death. Some of you know what I'm talking about. If your only means of connecting to the internet is via Wi-Fi, it may benefit you to change the wireless channel on your router. If you have multiple users on the same Wi-Fi channel, that can slow down the internet for everyone on that channel. This is common in apartment buildings or tightly packed neighborhoods. To find out which channels have the least congestion, 
go to the Windows Store and install Wi-Fi Analyzer. Open it up and select the Analyze tab. This graph shows the Wi-Fi strength in your area. I'm currently on the recommended channel, which is 11, but if I were on channel 4 or 5, I would want to change the channel to 11 in the router settings. At this time, I won't do a full tutorial on how to access your wireless settings, which can vary depending on which router you own. You just need to find the option to change the channel and switch it to the recommended channel. If you were previously on a congested channel, after making the switch, you should notice an improvement to your internet speed. LSO, which stands for Large Send Offload, is a technique of improving network performance while at the same time reducing CPU overhead. In theory, it sounds great. In practice, it has been known to cause performance and slowdown issues. To disable it, in the search bar, type Device Manager and select it. Go down to Network Adapters and click the arrow to expand it. In the list, double click on your network card. If you connect via Ethernet, select Ethernet Controller. If you connect via Wi-Fi, select Wireless Adapter. In this example, I'll select Ethernet Controller. Go to the Advanced tab. In the list, select Large Send Offload V2 IPv4 and set the value to Disabled. If you have Large Send Offload V2 IPv6, set that value to Disabled as well. When you're done, click OK. If you experience any issues, you can re-enable it at any time. Windows 10, by default, keeps away 20% of your internet bandwidth for its operating system and other related tasks, which means you only have 80% of your bandwidth that you can actually use. Here are the steps to get that 20% back for you to use. You will need to access the Group Policy Editor for this one which is only available by default for the Pro Edition of Windows 10. If you're using the Home Edition, your first step is to enable the Group Policy Editor. I've put a link in the description with the steps needed to enable it. To get started, open the Run window by selecting the Windows key plus R on your keyboard, or you could right-click on the Start menu icon and select Run. In the search box, type gpedit.msc. Hit enter on your keyboard or click on OK. Be careful in this window. This is how IT administrators keep you locked out of programs and keep you from making certain changes. In the left pane, click on Computer Configuration. Double click on Administrative Templates. Double click Network. Then double click QoS Packet Scheduler. Where it says Limit Reservable Bandwidth, double click on it to open a new window. Choose Enabled, then change the bandwidth limit to zero. When you're done making the changes, click on Apply, then OK to exit. Other than changing your DNS server, the tip I just showed you, in my experience, is the most useful in this video for increasing the overall speed of your internet. Saved it for last to reward you for watching this video to the end. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on the newest tech tutorials and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.